So I'll keep it real with y'all. This is going to be a weird review because I low-key wasn't expecting to like this record. Obviously, I'm a fan of Ice Spice. Who isn't a fan of Ice Spice? You feel me? But in the context of an album, I was like, ain't no way am I actually going to end up liking this. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was going to be very bloated. I thought it was going to be too long. I thought that it was going to be not my thing. But surprisingly, this album is 10 tracks, all killer, no filler. It is exactly what I like. It's 23 minutes and low key, a lot of people aren't liking this. And I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that I was going to either, but I low key love this album. Now Riot carries most of this record. Riot's production is fantastic on this record and, and they carry, okay? So shout out to Riot. But I'm just gonna talk about everything I liked about this record. Because I liked this record, surprisingly. I really like that choppy end of fat butt. That fat butt with my pants up. Fat butt with my pants up. Fat butt with my fat butt with my fat butt with my pants up. I think that shit is so fire. BB Bell is probably my favorite off the record, though. I think everything about that song goes fucking insane. I don't know why people aren't jamming that more. It's especially, like, the, I think that for this record specifically, I think that what stands out to me is that... You can click on any song on this album and get a nice spice banger, which is pretty much what I wanted out of this record, but I didn't expect that. I thought she was going to try something else, or I didn't know what to expect, but I think this is what really keeps this album going for itself, is the fact that it's 10 tracks, basically 10 new Ice Spice songs that are all bangers, and if you just want to randomly listen to one... You can just hit it kind of in the way of like if you want to watch some Family Guy, you don't have to watch the episodes in order. You know what I'm saying? You can just watch one that might be hella funny. But these are all pretty good songs, bro. I also love the hook and Papa, the um, he got a stupid bitch and she left her too because I'm a cooler bitch. So like, I love that, bro. Uh, the only thing I didn't really like is like the features on this album. I think Gunna brings nothing to his feature on Bitch I'm Poppin', but I love the chorus on Plenty Some. I like when Ice Spice gets a little freaky, bro. Like, she be rapping about shit a lot. But when she says, like, oh, like, I'm dating someone who's, like, significantly older than me or something like that. Like, I love a nigga with hella felonies. I love when she's, just, like, sprinkling in some crazy shit, you know? Because a lot of normies be listening to her. So when she sprinkles in that crazy shit, I really appreciate it. I think that the, uh, the beat for Did It First has fucking heroin in it, bro. And it also made me like a Central C verse. So there's that. But it all comes down to the instrumental, bro. The instrumental on Did It First is probably my favorite instrumental on the record. Like I said, I think that's produced by Riot. I think Riot produced this, this entire record. Amazing. I don't know what this nigga's on, bro. Like, genuinely a really prolific producer, like, just cranking out and, like, can really tap in to Ice Spice's sound and like give her instrumentals that she can feed off of and sound good on. You know what I'm saying? I think that's underappreciated. I think Travis's appearance on Oh Shit is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Pretty par for the course for him. But another one of the standout moments for me is Give Me A Light, where Ice Spice pretty much sounds like she's trying to beat the fuck out the beat, bro. Like, I think it's so funny. She's yelling. She's kind of off beat, kind of all over the place. I think it's so funny. I think it's so good. I've heard a lot of criticism about this record that, like, on a lot of these tracks, it sounds like she's not even trying. Like, her delivery is so monotone and boring and whatever i just think that's part of her personality i think that's just part of her like don't give a fuck like nonchalant attitude and i love moments like give me a light where you get the opposite of that and she's just turning the fuck up and it sounds weird as hell i would love to see more of that in the future because it's so fucking weird i even thought that ttyl was a banger to end off the record you know what i'm saying she didn't try to go in like a weird like like sentimental direction or anything like that on the closer she knows what we want and she gave it to us bro 10 tracks all bangers decent features you know what i'm saying few and far between and i loved her flow on this i loved her delivery on these songs i just think they're bangers i think i think that a lot of people are taking this too seriously i think that you should just be able to turn your brain off no offense to ice spice and just jam out to some bangers bro like what's wrong with that you feel me and i think that like it's even less bloated than the sexy red album 
which is why I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm a big fan of this record, bro, and I think that it's fun to just, like, throw on in the car when you're, like, driving or whatever, just listen to some Ice Spice bangers. Now, granted, a lot of people just don't like Ice Spice, and that's cool. It's cool to be wrong, but it's cool, and, like, that's cool, you know what I mean? But I think this record, for what it is, is really good. So make sure you check it out if you haven't yet. I fucking like it. So sue me, bro. Make sure you check out the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all so much. Let's try to let's try to reach 1K, 1K views in the in the next month. Okay, we were kind of falling behind in June, but that was my fault because I was uploading less. That's my fault. That's my fault. We gonna get we gonna lock in. We gonna get back into it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I love y'all. Fuck off. Come on, bro. That part where she's like, and I'm thick, but I don't gotta waste. Done.